Talking about rectangles, rhombuses, and squares today. So in this video, what you're gonna get is rhombus properties, rectangle properties, as well as square properties. And just a reminder, in the video player down below, there's timestamps so you can drag little red dots, whichever one you need. Or if you know all three, you can start watching right now. Let's get into it. All right, first up is the rhombus. And the rhombus, we're gonna kind of fill in our picture as we go here, but the rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Okay, and then also their diagonals are gonna be perpendicular. So in the picture over here, what I can show to mark that is a little box. Since that's a 90 degree angle, we also know these are vertical angles. So this is a 90 degree and then linear pairs, everything in here in the middle is 90 degrees. All right, what else do we know? It says the diagonals blank each pair of opposite angles. Well, this is gonna be bisect. All right, and to show this, what I can do is since it's being bisected for this angle here, I know this and this are gonna be the same. And those are also gonna be the same as these ones up here. All right, and I can do the same thing in a different color for my other two angles. These two, I'll give two uh, loops each. And then this one is the same as this one, just like that. All right, next shape is the rectangle. And a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. All right, so in my picture over here, the way I can mark that up is, it's not just part of the angle, remember it's the whole angle that goes through both of these. So here, here, and those two, all right? So four right angles, that has to be a rectangle as long as it also is a parallelogram, okay? Now, something else that's special about a rectangle is that it has diagonals that are congruent. And the way that we're gonna show that on our graph over here is I'm gonna put a couple of tick marks on each of these. So those tell me that this and this are the same, and also that this and this are the same. And so since they're both the same, together this length from here to here, and also this length from here to here have to be congruent as well. All right, then the last shape we have here is a square. This is a parallelogram with both four congruent sides and four right angles. All right, so the way I'll mark that up on the picture over here is I'll start with the four congruent sides, give each side a tick mark to show those are congruent, as well as uh, the four right angles. Again, I can kind of put those in the corners like this. Okay, what else does this have in common? So this is both a rhombus and a rectangle. It's kind of the overlap of both of those. So if you have a square, you can use all the properties of a rhombus and all the properties of a rectangle. One of those properties is that the diagonals are congruent. All right, so again, kind of like we just did with the rectangle in our last one, we can mark this up by putting some more tick marks kind of on each of these to show that those lengths are congruent to each other. Just probably mark that in there. All right, and then the next one is the diagonals blank each pair of opposite angles. Again, this is gonna be bisect. Okay, now with, um, with rhombuses, when those bisected the different angles, we didn't necessarily know what those measures were. However, since we know that all of our opposite angles are gonna be right angles, they're 90 degrees, we know if you bisect those, that each one's gonna be 45 degrees for their uh, respective half here. So I can put in a 45 in each of these corners. All right, and again, that has to be true because 45 plus 45 is 90, and if they're being bisected, those have to be the same number, all right, or 90 divided by two. All right, then the very last one that we have, the last property says that the diagonals are perpendicular. All right, and to mark that up in the picture, again, in the middle here, you can put the kind of half a box looking shape to show that's a 90 degree angle. And like I said, with the other one, we know that it's vertical angles also 90 degrees, and then these would be linear pair. So this is also 90 degrees. So you could really put 90 degrees all around this. Or if you prefer to put you know, boxes around those, you can do whatever you want to show that on your picture. All right, hey guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. You might find this video helpful as you continue to do more rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. See you in the next one.